Hey you going? Dead man down under here. In this video I'm going to show you how to do the Cluck and Bell Farm Raid with the aggressive approach. Now if you don't know how to do the Cluck and Bell Farm Raid, I have got a guide on how to do Silent and Sneaky, so go check that one out because all of the setups are going to be exactly the same as that particular video except for two of them. So I'm not going to run through all of the setups in this video. I'm only going to show the setups that are different from the Silent and Sneaky. So I'm going, to go, I'm going to go ahead and go through all the setups I need to do that are the same as the Silent Sneaky and then I'll come back to you once we're ready to go. Now the first setup that we're doing differently is concealed weapons. So on the Silent Sneaky we will always go for A because it is the fastest and the quickest and that's all we need. A suppressed pistol. But for, for the aggressive approach, we ever want to go for B or C. I would recommend going for B, my, it's my personal favourite with the weapons for, for this kind of a mission, so I'm going to go for B. So we're going to drive down to a yacht, I'll talk to you when we get there. Okay, so head down to the beach right next to the Del Perro up here, there'll be a couple of jet skis here, we can steal one of these and drive out to the yacht. Pop at the back of the yacht here. Climb up the ladder. Take those two guys. And I've broken stealth already, that's fantastic. Alright, let's come inside here. There's gonna be some guys inside here we need to take out. One guy there, oop, oh. one guy there, missed him, got him. <laughs> and here's the equipment here, is he going to pick it up? Wasn't he picking it up, there we go. So now head back out, and we need to go upstairs to collect the weapons. Now there's going to be a helicopter spawn here, so let's take him out with the uh, rail gun. How did I miss that? There we go. So keep an eye on your minimap for where the uh, guards are spawned in. How do I miss that again? It's coming through here. Oops, back this way. And there are the weapons. Now we need to head out. You're making commendable progress. Once we grab weapons and gear, we'll have everything we need. Get secure. Helicopter spawning again, so let's get the rail gun out ready to take him out. Where is he? There he is. Why am I missing that every time? Okay, now jump on the jet ski and head out. Okay, just top up your armor and your and your snacks here because the helicopter coming after us. Get back on the bike and head back to Vince's lockup. So once you get back to Vince's lockup, same as in the um, silent sneaky approach, we do want to. Um, what am I going doing here? <laughs> Message Vincent and confirm our weapons and our gear. And that will be the mission completed. Excellent. Now the other setup that we're going to be doing differently is this organised crime. 
Now, same as before, if you've done it more than three times, you can go straight to the warehouse locations, which again are here, here, or here. If you've done it at least three or four times, you can skip packing the vans and it is much faster. So, whoops, there's a pole there. Once you hear that dialogue from Vincent, that is when you know that you're able to skip hacking the vans, and it is much faster. So particularly if you haven't done your 45 minute challenge yet, for those of you doing career progress on current gen consoles, that's what you need to do. Okay, so it's not this first one, because the writing would have disappeared on the bottom of the screen there. It's the second one here, same as I got on my last video. So there are two options, sorry, there are three options we can do here to do this on um, aggressive. I'll just wait for Vincent to stop talking. So your options here to make sure that you go in um, with the aggressive approach is either do not sabotage these trucks, do not wipe the CCTV footage, or when the uh, when your stealth broke breaks, don't kill everybody before the witness bar um, expires. You only need to do one of those. You don't need to do all of them. Just one of those. Not completing one of those will mean you will um, be going in under aggressive. So I'm just going to keep under stealth here so I can show you what I failed to show you in the um, silent and sneaky video is that if you don't break stealth at this point once you hack these, um, sorry, once you drill these lock boxes, you're going to break stealth anyway, and a couple of extra guards are going to come in. And you can see on my mini map there, it's a red dot that has appeared. So there's the key card, we can leave. Did I not... Did I not kill everybody? That's weird, okay. Okay. Whoops. So, so we don't have to take them out. And... We're blowing up the truck. Whoops. That was not what I meant to do. Time to move. If the operation's on to you, I thought I got the key card. What's going on? Yeah, I dropped the key card because I died. Okay, now we can leave. And where's my bike? Over here, okay. So you can see the flatbed truck that spawns there normally. It's still spawned there, but the icon hasn't popped up for me to steal it, so that... whoops. That is again how you know that you haven't done it in stealth, and we are going to be doing the finale using the aggressive approach. Are you for real? These NPCs, man, they're really 
annoying me this time around. Okay, let's go back to Vince's lockup and we'll be able to start the finale using the aggressive approach. Okay, so you actually need to escape the cartel first before you can head back to Vince's lockup. And actually, you only need to escape the cartel, and that's the mission pass. You don't even need to go back to the lockup. So, there we go. Something I didn't realise. Okay, time to execute this thing. Buckle up down there, because they'll be ready for you at the factory. As usual, deploy any means necessary to secure the cocaine and the cash. Okay, so how do we get inside there now? Shoot that fuse box there. Stay undercover here. Take the guys out. Another one there. Another one down the end there. And make sure you're using cover. That guy there. That guy there. And we need to shoot this fuse box here. Come through here, there's gonna be some guys through here. One there. That guy there. Another one there. Don't forget to use your snacks and, and armor as you need. Keep running and shooting, keeping an eye on your mini-map. Swipe the key card here, and head downstairs. Give me three guys down here, same as before. One there. Actually, we don't really need to take the scientists out this time, do we? Because they're not, um... They're not going to break our stealth on us because we're not going under stealth this time. So make sure you grab the four stacks of Coca-Cola in here. Okay, scrape the last stack there and I'm going to let him live. He can go and tell his friends what he saw today. <laughs> anyway, when you got the last stack, leave. You can kill him if you want to. I'm going to show mercy this time. So come out here. There's some more guys in here. Keep an eye on your mini maps, you know where all the guys are you gotta take out. Because they will just keep spawning in. Keep an eye on your snacks and your armor as well. On the reload. Come back over to here and hack the keypad, same as we did last time. Keep an eye on your mini maps, another guy coming in. There's not, okay, so we'll go under. And same as before, it's the too far crates. Why aren't I picking that up? Do I have to pick up a um, crowbar from somewhere? Oh yeah, they're showing up on the mini-map just there, right oh, so there's one here. So why don't I have to pick them up when I'm doing Silent and Sneaky, that's odd. So come to the too far crates, this one. And this one here. So it doesn't matter whether it's um, silent, sneaky or aggressive, it's always going to be that crate there and whether this one spawns here or here. Okay, now the keys again should spawn here. They haven't, so it'll be... There's another spot around through here, I'll show you when we get there. Oops, the guy behind me. Where is he? Okay, so 
So just here is the other location for the keys. There's another guy spawning behind me. Where is he? There he is. Guy around the corner here, there he is. Guys are going to keep spawning in, aren't they? So, we we'll just have to keep moving. Hack the computer. Establish a connection to the computer first. Now, top up armor and snacks here. Come out. It's either going to be that one or this one here first, normally, and it's not okay. So, maybe this one. No, it's going to be this one over here. Okay, well, it's never that one first on Silent and Sneaky, so it does change a bit. that one then it must be this one over here okay well I was at that computer before why didn't it buddy uh, love this game man there we go So we should have the save code now. That... I went to that one first, so I don't understand why that wasn't showing up. Okay, so what have we got? 82, 24, 88. Okay, now we leave. Type your armor and your snacks. And now run for it. Gonna be a couple of guys here to take out. Make sure you take them out before they take you out and get to the garage, get in your car. Same as before, head up to the right here on the train track. Open up your interaction menu for your personal vehicle. Just want to get up the train track just a little bit further. Just here. Jump out. Might need to take a few of the cops out here, jump onto your bike, and head back down the train tracks. Once you get to here, jump down off the uh, train tracks, come up this way. Up through here, up through this section, and head off road here.
Now once you get to here, just just pull up, just wait. Just keep an eye on that minimap in case a helicopter spawns in. Sitting here, we should be able to lose this wanted level. There we go. Now we drive back to Vince's lockup. And once we get back, that will be the mission completed. The Clarkenbell farm raid done on the aggressive approach. And that is how you can complete the Cluck and Bell farm raid using the aggressive approach. Now would I recommend doing it? Just once. And that is because if we come into your career progress for those of you on PS5, Xbox Series X and S. On tier 3, complete the scene of the crime using both approaches, stealth and aggressive. You do need to do it at least once if you want to do your career progress. Uh, even if you're not on... Um, Xbox Series X and S or PS5, you don't have the career progress. It is a different approach. It is more challenging than going in silent and sneaky. And that was a lot of fun, despite the fact that I couldn't get the computer hack done properly. I don't understand why. I went to that second computer straight away with the hacking device. You saw me do it. For some reason, it didn't go green, whatever. But look, it's, um, it's a lot of fun going in aggressive sometimes, but if you're doing it for speed, to make as much money as you can, as quick as you can, then always do it under silent and sneaky. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please drop a like. If you want to see more GTA content, hit that subscribe button. I want to give a shout out as well to my channel member, if I'm not sure if I can pronounce this right, is it nmoz091? Thank you very much for signing up as a channel member. Uh, if you'd like to sign up as a channel member as well, click the join button down below. Otherwise, we'll just go from there and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.